Come come right over here. Don't be shy. You want to take either seat. Whichever one. Yeah, whichever one you want. You want that one? Fart joke. Fart joke. Fart joke. Insert There's here. There's microphones down by our... Our feet. Our, our, poo, our genitals. Poo, poo holes. Our yeah. poo places. Bob, you have children. How... Uh, is that how you describe it to your, your children? Is that what you have to it's say? your poo place. <laughs> do you remember that joke? Do you have to sound retarded when you talk to your children? or? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like halfway between a baby and, you know... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Let's, let's move on. Okay. Uh, Hi, everyone. How are you? Bob Odenkirk is here. Hi, Chicago. In the building. You're from Chicago. You're from Naperville. I'm from uh, Naperville. You love it here. You have relatives. I mean, you know, look, Naperville is a great place to get out of. And but you know, look, honestly though, when you're when you got kids, you're like, I get it. They can be here and it's safe. You know. But uh, then when they turn 15, they hate you and want to leave. Did but it take that good. long for your kids to, to start hating To hate me? You? No, 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 no. My kids are way ahead of other kids. They're really mature. They're really they started advanced. hating me at the age of six. <laughs> uh, How many children do you have for I have the uninitiated? Two kids. I have two wonderful two, children. Uh, Nate and Aaron, I believe. Are yes, names. Nate. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to tell everybody everything about kids. It's their life, you know. I don't want to... That's true, yeah. But for, right. for historian, maybe they've, by the time people have listened to this in the future, right? Uh, you know, this may be 20 years on. I mean, people are still, we were talking backstage, yeah. listening to the National Lampoon uh, recording. Right. People could be listening to these, and they've grown up, and they've uh, become famous gay people, you know? And uh, <laughs> I'm okay with them being gay. I don't know if I like them being more famous than me. <laughs> Are you actively trying to keep them out of show business? I'm at trying all? to get more famous, so it's okay for them to be a little famous. Right. So they like you could be John Lennon, and they could be Julian. In other words. Okay. That would be okay. That's with perfectly you. fine. You know, if John Lennon had lived, he'd be like Julian, great man. I love what you do. Actually, he was kind of a, a mean guy, wasn't he? Julian? Yeah. No, John. He, he he could be pretty petty and mean. Like Tom the petty? thing. The thing about... All right. <laughs> no, the thing about what? I'm Here sorry. he is. Now, come on. Mr. Words. <laughs> Bob, you used to talk... You know how he is. If you say a word that's like another word, he'll remind you. <laughs> Johnny Thesaurus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dinosaur. The Thesaurus. Come on. Do it. Say something. Now, you used to talk about Mr. words. words. <laughs> you used to talk about words being weird. I did. I, I, I did. I did. And it was a comedy bit, but in truth, words are weird. In what way? Well, fire. There's a word, right? Sure. F-I-R-E. We've all, we've all heard it. We've all probably said it. F-I-R-E. Fire. Mm-hmm. F-E-A-R. Fear. What the hell? They're the same, but they're not the same. So weird. Here's one. Words. W-O-R-D-S. Right. I've heard that. Yeah. Word. Very common. Everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. How about this one? W-E-I-R-D. Weird. What? What? How? Do they, they're almost identical, but they don't, they're not. Yeah, you guys have got my cal my calendar words are weird calendar, right? There's a different. What, it's a different one every single day. Yeah. Actually, no. It's one of those calendars you have to tear off every uh, thirty minutes. Right. There's a new <laughs> example. It's a thirty-minute calendar. <laughs> Keeps track of the. <laughs> those are getting very popular now. Yeah. <laughs> and every thirty minutes, a different two different words that should be the same yeah, word, but they're not. Yeah, you gotta read it. Chuckle to yourself. Call people over to your cubicle. <laughs> That's almost like a full-time job, tearing off that page every day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, what were we talking about when I so shamelessly You were talking you? about... Oh, yes, your, uh, uh, Ju uh, John Lennon was a mean guy, you were saying. He was. Remember that uh, song he wrote about Paul McCartney, How Do You Sleep? Mm. Remember that? What is wrong? What do you mean, how does he sleep? He writes... Horizontal. Yeah, he yeah. What do you mean? 
How, she should not sleep because he writes silly songs. <laughs> he shouldn't sleep. That's wrong, man. <laughs> Everything's got to be really beautiful and deep. Right? Did so you it's crazy. I mean, who would write a song? Who would be so petty that they would write an angry song about their buddy from years did, did you? Oh, and you don't like that so much, huh? You don't like me poking a hole in your god, John Lennon, the god. Did, did you and David ever uh, get that acrimonious? Well, I wrote that song about him, How Do You Sleep, but <laughs> right. other than that... That was a totally different melody. It was kind of like up-tempo. Uh, I, it was a question. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> He's such a good sleeper. I know. And I, He's uh, always bragging just, about it. He would come in in the morning, oh, 14 hours. <laughs> yes, yes. It is. It's just a question about how do you get to sleep. That's all it is. <laughs> what kind of mattress do you use? The lyrics were... <laughs> a little pedestrian. A little overly uh, specific. specific, yeah. yeah but yeah. Uh, how did uh, speaking of David Cross? How did you guys meet? I, I sort of know this story, but uh, well, <laughs> well, I, he was a friend of Janine's, and I was friendly with Janine, and she lived like four blocks from me. And uh, when you say you were friendly with Janine, I you... was friends with her. God right. damn it. <laughs> I do, you said that in a really weird way that they raised some questions. I was a friend of hers. There were many friends she had. Now where are we? <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, she was having different <laughs> friends over every single night. And uh, I guess David visited her, and, and uh, he said, I want to do something fun. And she goes, oh, my friend Bob Odenkirk likes to play basketball. Do you want to play basketball? And he goes, yeah. And he had a basketball. Now he's like 20, probably... 27 years old, right? So he walks three blocks right to my house at the time of this story. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> you'll get it. You'll listen okay. to it later on the podcast right. and think about it. Um, and he comes over to my house, and I was sitting there watching TV, and they... St- I'll, I remember it. David thinks I don't remember. I remember sitting there eating my sandwich that I just made, and he's at the screen door with Janine. Knock, knock. Hey, what's up? Yeah, my friend's here from Boston. He wants to play basketball. Oh, yeah. I'm, I just sat down to eat, so. And they're just standing right on my porch. And I was kind of a rude guy. And then they, t- he had his ball, and then he walked away. And that was it. And I was like, yeah, I'm watching TV. That was the first time we met. And not even like, hey, guys, come on. Come no, inside. not even anything. Just, and what, what, nah, not now. What do you think that is? What was what, what was it about your psychology at the time? That... Oh, it was a really good sandwich I had. Uh, you remember the sandwich more than the story, right? It was. <laughs> Have you ever had pickle on a sandwich? No. In the sandwich. No. It's fantastic. Really? You will blow off a friend. To eat that sandwich. Uh, I don't know. I, I was a, a pretty headstrong fellow. Mm. Still am. Still are. What Great. do you want to know? You haven't calmed down? No, I have. I've gotten mellower and uh, not as big of a jerk. A little less jerky. I think. I don't know. What? You want to... Don't get serious here. It's a fucking joke. I know, it's a comedy show. It's a joke show. uh, You're supposed to be joking. That's my Jay Leno. You're supposed to tell jokes. That's the soul of Jay Leno. (laughs) So not 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 everybody can do his voice. That's easy. Sure. I do his soul. This this, This is his soul. Tell jokes. Tell some more jokes. Why don't you just tell jokes then? You got a problem? So in any situation. Yeah, so Jay Uh, sits down. uh, Jay sits down to meditate. He reaches deep inside, he and he says he pushes all the world's woes, cares away, all the worries and anxieties, and he asks, he asks, what? Why are we here? Tell jokes. <laughs> Tell some jokes. Tell more jokes. I, I already, t- I already told some jokes. Tell more jokes. <laughs> That's no. what his soul says to him. Bob, are you? His speaking soul of telling is jo- mentally retarded. <laughs> Speaking of telling jokes, are go you ahead, do it, asshole. Oh. <laughs> are you are you gonna be a jokester your whole life? Do you think? Do you no. have any other kind of like aspirations? Aspirations to do anything else with your well? What do you mean? I 
Am I going to joke around? All my, I don't joke around that much now. I'm pretty morose. No, I know. But uh, I, you were telling me once that you, I don't know, you had some dreams to, to make a difference. With yeah, I do. I think I'd like to uh, do some performance that um, has something to say to people. And... Uh, because a lot Maybe of times, teaches. yeah, as, as a comedian, you're just kind of joking around. You right. get laughs, but you go home at the end of the night and you go, well, what have I really done? You People know? have gone home. They've got nothing. Yeah. Basically, they've forgotten the last two hours that they forgot they were alive. And I know that if you know uh, the work of Preston Sturges, sure. uh, he, he, he proposes in one of his films that that's enough. That you could let people forget their woes. And I don't think it's enough. No, that guy was an asshole. I, I don't think it's enough. I think you want to leave people with something to chew on. And maybe you want to reach down inside them and turn a little switch and make them fly right. You know? Just toggle the switch at the very least. Just be like, is you know anything on? You know? You can use that word toggle if you <laughs> are so in love with it. <laughs> Put it, I, I'm asking you to put it in your calendar. That's all I, you know, I'm t- like 8.30 on, 830 yeah. on AM on yeah. March 14th. Yeah. yeah, you got it. But honestly, I do think, I do Thanks think for your yes and. just getting people to maybe think about themselves and, you know, like, and how they could be a better person. Well, that would be fantastic. If you ever do that, let me know, because I would love to have Well, you. I'd like to do it tonight. You, I, uh, when you say do it tonight, what, do you, I, what exactly do you I mean? I actually, uh, and it's, you know this, I'm famously a terrible singer. Uh, when when and, we were working on Mr. Mr. Show, Show was a, I, uh, I, we would laugh and joke about <laughs> Bob should sing, and, and I loved it as much as anyone. <laughs> you know, I, I reveled in it. Yes. But you know what, Scott? I've been, uh, I've actually taken lessons. Uh, Since? Singing lessons. Really? Yes. And um, In the 12 years since the show, <laughs> yeah, not you haven't rested last, like, on your laurels. Years. Yeah. And I've actually sort of found a voice that I can sing in, and I have a song that I'd like to sing to kind of teach people. It actually has a message in it. Well, who, who here would like to hear this show? Uh, this song, I mean. I'm assuming it'll be a show, a complete show. Yeah. Do you mind if I sing? A Stand show up, within a sing? song? Sure. Stand so I can well, what do you need? Do you need anything from me? For no, this? no. I just need the... So I hope we have the song. It's a karaoke version of the song, but I'll, I'll sing it. It's a song you may know. Um, all right. And so. this... Uh, oh. Now, this is a song with a message, and uh, it's something that I've thought a lot about, so... If I can share it with you, God, this button I can't get. This is a song uh, Paul McCartney sang, and it, it, you may not know this, but uh, in, in this real song, his backup singer is one of the Jackson Five. Uh, the little one was named Mike, and he went on to become a backup singer for this. And this is a song about a lot of things, and. Uh, One thing people feel this song is about is racism. And it says that white people aren't better than black people. Black people are better than white people. That's not true. Um, Black people are not better than white people. No, that's not true either. That's not what I'm trying to say. Some black people are better than some white people. And so we should all just get along and... Nobody's better than anyone else. There's Now, okay, I can already see a lot of people are... A lot of black people are in prison. I know that. I, my point, more white people should be put in prison for, for fairness. Just even the numbers. It, it's not about... It's not about black or white. It, Asians are a problem for every... Uh, eh, don't avoid Asians part of the city unless you're welcome there. And then, of course, you know, definitely shop at their stores. But forget it. Um, 
People think this is a song about racism, but if you read the lyrics, it's about how, how they make pianos. Um, people who make pianos are, they have to make the keys different colors so that you uh, know which one to press to make a sound. Uh, and some of them are white and some of them are black. But for some reason, they won't try another color, like blue or yellow, and it just doesn't make any sense. So that's it. That's thank you, thank you. Bob Oker. They should make piano keys other colors than just black and white. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice you. You never got a, a really around to ever singing a single note. Yeah. It was I'm going over it in my head right now. I sang a... No. No, you did not. You never, I didn't sing no, the chorus. No, you never sang a single note out of that song. I, I'm going to listen to it later on the podcast. Okay. I think I sang three quarters of that. I would vehemently disagree. What about did I whistle any of it? I think I would remember you whistling and, and know you. So in my not. mind, there was a whistling <laughs> sound that I heard. I don't doubt that, but um, no, you, you never let that One out. One of you whistled. Eh. All right, look, I'm going to listen to it later. Okay. And we can talk about whether or no, not we I sang. No, should get together later I don't want to. I'm not going to agree right now that I didn't <laughs> sing any of it. Okay. That's a little, that's a little much. But Bob, you made a you, you made a difference with that. Who thinks that Bob made a difference with his message here tonight? All right, All right. thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you know, we, we should get to our next guest. Okay. Uh, we heard. Uh, Did you want me to do the game? Yeah, I want you to stay. Yes. Oh, I stay. Yeah, you stay and you come I in. Stay. Uh, we talked about how the last time I did t uh, Scott's show, um, Andy Dick was on, and you know the weird things I completely forgot that I did the show with Andy Dick, and it's supposed to be the other way around. He's supposed to completely forget that he did anything today. Uh, Let's go. Let's get the next guest uh, out here. Uh, here we go. All right, so uh, your you're, next guest, uh, you may have heard him a little bit while... Uh, uh, where should I sit? Uh, yeah, and why, you, really, why are these I, down? I, I, Somebody I, play the sitar? Did you, you have an all sitar? There are three microphones that are We want to make sure we capture ground. every nuance of your performance tonight. I, I'm complete. I even if that was for a band, I don't know what these are for. Tap dancers. <laughs> yes. Of Have you course. ever tap danced? <laughs> I know. Let's move on. All right. I've tap danced for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> I would love to see an, ex an example of it. All right. It's Bob Odenkirk, everyone. Give him a nice round. All right. Thanks. Now, our next guest uh, this evening is uh, a favorite of the program. He, um, he came out here to Chicago uh, from Minnesota, which is uh, not that uh, far away, but uh, he was very nice to come out. He has a TV program entitled Conspiracy Theories, which can be seen uh, on a... On a different network, yeah. No, we know you're coming out. Yes. Uh, I was backstage with this guy. It he's was not intimidating, uh, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please welcome uh, Jesse the Body Ventura, everyone. Is the microphone to make us submit to the man? Are we supposed to feel diminutive in the city of Chicago? Right. If a microphone's on the floor, who's supposed to be speaking a slave to the mind control? 